Today is today that I allow joy, peace, and the love of God to surround me with all serenity, to accept God in my life, to change what needs to be changed, to revoke everything out of my life that I no longer want nor need, that is not satisfying what I have a desire for to achieve in this life in Christ Jesus. I remove all negativity. I receive all positiveness in my Lord and Savior. For God is the God that changes, heal, delivers, and set all free in Jesus' name. Good morning, guys. We are out and about. We got coffee, so we decided to bride a minute before we go to church. We just decided we was going to go to church, so we were so close to downtown and the lake that we decided to come down to the lake. So I decided to pull my camera out and bring you guys with us to the lake. It's cold too this morning. What is it, baby? What's the temperature? It's, it's, it's 42, but the, the guy, we got a windshield uh, um, in the air. It's very cool in the air. So I just got on my coffee run a little two dress which i don't know why they would make this a leopard print or two i feel like leopard print is more fall and winter i don't know why they would make it anyway and i got my little vintage sweater because it's cold and y'all know these are my favorite type of sweaters and y'all showed y'all that royal blue and black one that i found that i didn't get but that was that was chef kiss that royal blue Ooh, that trimmed in that black but anyway we down at Okay, guys, I had to pause it right here. Girl, this is about a week later, child. Ooh. All right, child. I hope y'all can see me. I feel like my stern wheel in the way. Um, I just came to the little park I like to come to sometimes just to relax and just to, like, soak it all in just before even the day gets started, before even... Your mind get cluttered. Y'all say this all the time. And I hope y'all really understand that I say this. And I don't just say it for video purposes. But this is something that I think most of you guys have been following for a while. Y'all know, girl, I'm not. I don't want to say I'm not the normal YouTuber. Because <laughs> I don't know what that means. But I just be myself. I just pretty much what y'all see me do, I do. What y'all how y'all hear me talk, I talk. How y'all see me dress, I dress, you know. Uh, so, I just, you know, just trying to flush my mind. I have so, much, so many things on my mind about uh, life, about what I want to do, how I want to do it. Uh, pulling out these streams of wealth inside of me. Uh, manifesting, and not just manifest those stuff that other people are talking about, but manifesting my true life in Jesus Christ. Man, when I tell you that dog is so healthy, y'all see how my mind works? This dog is huge, and it looks like a brown, full brown dome and pincher. Look like it's mixed with something. It's so huge. I want to ask him what kind of dog that he is. But anyway, just manifesting the real life that God has for me. You know, a life of just fullness, abundance, uh, wealth, prosperity. And people get shaky when you say that because they think you're talking about just monetary. You know, everybody got their own take on that. And I'm not here to argue and debate. Y'all know I say that all the time about the life that you guys want for you or whoever want for whoever. How they feel like their life should be. Because what God said, every man has to work out with his own soul salvation. So I ain't, I'm talking about me. Me working out my soul salvation. The abundance of God. You know, I don't want, I don't want no part of struggling in any area of my life i don't want no part of struggling in my relationship i don't want no part of struggling in my health i don't want no part of struggling in my mindset 
Because God said he did not give us the spirit of fear, but the power of love and a sound mind. I don't want no struggling in my marriage. I don't want no struggling in any area of my life because I don't have to. Because God said I don't have to. He has put everything inside of me that I need to produce everything that I need to do in this earth. Concerning what he has assigned me to do for him. So with me knowing that, it's just me pulling that out of me. And hearing God's voice and God's directives to see which way he want me to go and what he want me to do and how he want me to do it and I think one of my main issues that you know I don't like to use the word issue but my main thing that I me personally be trying to figure out is okay God what does that look like how do you want me to do this how do you want me to act how do you want me to say that how you how you how and I think I spent too much time trying to figure it out than just trying to do what he say do Oh, so I like to come out here and just, just calm myself down and just know, Ursula, it's a done deal. You quit trying to see it the way you trying to see it. Like, oh, it got to be did this way. Got to be done that way. This must be what he want me to do. No, no. Trust and believe. God already got it mapped out. That's why he said, Jeremiah 29, 11, he said he knows the plans that he have for me. And they for a future and a hope. Not for disaster, not for destruction, not for struggling, not for worry, not for frustration, not for anger, not for fear, not for phobia, not for anxiety. None of that. None of that he has for me. He said a future and a hope. And my future hope is in Christ Jesus. Huh. So I just have to take time out for me to calm myself down and you know not try to step in god place or take god place uh you know i feel like you know god said that he can give us life and to give it to us more abundantly and that's my that's my desire is the abundant life in jesus christ uh, you know, it's just so many times it'd be so many things that chip away at the things that you want to achieve or you feel like you should achieve or you feel like you should have already achieved and all of this kind of stuff. And I think the saddest thing, and I think I thank God for who he is in my life and I thank God for Jesus down on the cross for me. And I think one of the saddest thing that social media, it's a, it's a lot of good in social media. And it's a lot of bad. But you got to understand who you are. I tell anybody, before you get on here even watching other people's channels, or if you decide to do a channel, or you, uh, have a channel as your outlet, whatever the case may be, I have learned that with social media, you have to understand who you are. And no, and if you're not rooted and grounded in Christ Jesus, that's going to be dangerous for you. One of the things I think that social media does is it put people in places where they feel like uh, they have to compare their life or compete. And I thank God I'm the age I am. I've been there. I've done that. I've realized what that does for you and the, the, the sparrow down the hole that it can take you. And I think, unfortunately, sometimes people see these things on social media and they feel like that these things are real life and true and they are not. And that's why later on, you find out, you see something, you be like, oh, man, you know, why is this happening? Why I thought they was this, this, that. They allowed you to see what they wanted you to see. That's what everybody, anybody on social media, you know what I'm saying? Because you can't share everything. You got to have some privacy in your life. And I feel like what it has done is people see these people with all this glam and all of this, um, I don't even know what to call it. And then they, they don't realize the goodness in their life. My desire is so strong to really just do what God has called me to do because that's all that matters. Even with social media, I feel like if I don't get out here or get on here and share who Christ is in my life and what I desire for Christ to do in my life, 
and allowing Christ to do what he wants to do in my life. <sighs> so, <laughs> that's a whole lot, ain't it? So, I like to come out here and just... Not just out here, but sometimes I come out here. I've showed y'all a couple of my places. Sometimes I come out here. Sometimes me and my husband just discussing things. And I just love the place that God has placed us in right now. I'm just so thankful. Even how God has taught us how to do our finances. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful for the husband that God gave me. And I don't, you know, argue, debate, or fuss, and all this with somebody that, you know, like I said, you got to work out your own soul salvation. I'm talking about me. I'm thankful for the husband that God gave me. I'm thankful for the partner that I have in my life. Um... And just the road that God has taken us on and knowing we have it. Y'all, okay, I'm sitting here recording and talking to y'all. And I'm in, in one of my parks that I like. I guess she's over here, this young lady, doing a photo shoot. Y'all, she pulling her dress up, pulling her spanks up in her crotch. I mean, just outside with no shame. Just, just ain't on the other side. She see, I'm sitting here, and you can clearly see me in my car with my camera. Because it ain't one of them little gizmo that everybody uses. This lady just, with just no shame. She just pull her dress up, pull her spanks up in her crotch, look down in between her legs in her crotch, fix it, adjust it how she wanted it in her crotch, and, and went on. I don't know who in this truck over here. But I know they see me. Anyway, y'all. So, I feel like I done yank, yank, yank enough to see me. But, good morning. Good morning. Have a, have a, have a happy day. Good morning. Good morning to you. Let's get up and sing. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Have a, have a, have a happy day. I'm late, girl. Hey, it's 544. I'm just not going to the gym. And... Hubby not going to the gym with me this morning because his job, he had to be work super early today. And not on his, not his business, his job. So he's not going with me. So I'm going by myself. He's, he's securing me there. He's escorting me there. Then once he see me there in the building, he's leaving and heading on to work. So, I'm going to go, I don't even know what I'm going to do yet, as far as, hold on, child. so I will see y'all at the gym. Alright y'all, I got that in, I'm headed to my car, whoop whoop, whoop whoop. I've been sitting in this car talking for the last three minutes and just realized I wasn't recording. Y'all, why that lady was teasing me, talking about, you don't want to put your coat on. I'm cold. It's 39 degrees. Yeah, I want to put my coat in the sun. I'm freezing, y'all. And the sun is, is super bright. Plus, me just leaving the gym, I might be a little... Cause sometimes I don't sweat like beam and sweat, so I'm sorry. I'm trying to fix y'all right. Yeah, she said you went for your coat, baby. I'm cold. I'm cold, and the sun is so hot. Oh, I needed the dark. These are some really dark glasses, and I needed some darkest of the dark, baby. Cause this sun is high beaming. Anyway, I see y'all when I get home. Hey, let me tell y'all something. This is a quick intermission. I just read a comment, and, and Sister Angela Howard said, 
I cannot believe you spent 11 minutes talking about I screamed when I read it. She said, I can't believe you spent 11 minutes talking about college. Honey, I, I laughed so hard when I read that because I said, yes, yes, I did. Number one, that's how serious coffee is. <laughs> Number two, baby, did you watch it? Did you watch them 11 minutes? <laughs> Girl, because listen, I can go down a... I tell y'all all the time, I can go down a rabbit hole, girl. So I had to pull me out. When my mind is thinking about something, it thinks about it. It thinks about it. And I was thinking hard about leaving the house and getting that coffee in the morning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's so dark. Good morning, guys. <laughs> we are here to get a cup of coffee. And what we want to try to do, we want to try to... Um, watch the sunset. So he'll be, he said, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, we're going to get a coffee. And we're going to go watch the sunset. Now y'all can't even see me. All right, I'll talk to y'all. Yeah, I can see me a little better now. I know my voice sound terrible. I threw these on my head because I know I wanted to put them back in my husband's car. I had them in my car, but I might put them back in my car. But anyway, we at Circle K. What's on my camera? Oh. Yeah, I'm looking at the whole wrong thing. God, dog. Because I was trying to see what's on my camera. Oh, my beautiful. I will get a coffee here. Hold on, we're going to get some coffee. I'm sleeping so good, y'all. It is. What time is it? Siri. I know it's early. Siri. I'm all up in y'all face. Siri. That's my phone. Siri. You hear me? Siri sleep, y'all. I know it's early. Oh, it's a little after six. All right. So, let me look what's going on my camera. Because. Okay. We going to the Wally World early in the morning. Hey, baby, it's so peaceful. I came back to see how they mock those jumpsuits down anymore. And they haven't. But it's so peaceful. Oh, my God. It is so peaceful. Now, this is cute. But, baby, this thing is so thick. This is going to burn you up. This right here is gonna burn you up. We be scanning. I'm talking about now. Y'all see all this stuff here? This right here. All this stuff. Right about now, you used to find this stuff for a dollar. Y'all remember how you used to get all this stuff for a dollar? Dang, you mark that stuff down. Some cute little t shirts. Mm -hmm. I'm just walking around trying to see. Can I find anything that's really marked down, marked down, like it used to be? And if you look at these right here, like they just put these out. And these things so thick. Okay, I'm going to see what they were. All right, just like that. These are cute. Look how thick they are. Baby, you can't wear this in the summertime. Alright, so we finna go because they ain't taking cash. <laughs> they ain't taking they ain't taking they ain't taking all uh, cash. <laughs> okay, here I come. Y'all she ain't came to get me, but that's cute. Okay, thank you. Thank you, appreciate you. No problem. She came to get me off for the We, if they don't take it any cash, and all we got cash, and we get the hoodies, how we gonna pay for it? <laughs> all I got is cash. Jesus. Wow. These are the dollar here. This is.
Y'all, the reason I was so tilted is because hubby was so so upset. But I knew I wasn't going to get anything anyway, even though she showed me the jacket. I knew I didn't want anything, so I wasn't going to get anything. So I was like, okay, the thing that he really wanted was to go ahead on and get us some soap. Because we was low on soap. But I was like, as far as a hoodie or anything else, I'm not worried about that. We can always come back and get the soap. But the sale ladies was so nice. She offered to pay for it, and we just get her the cash. But we was like, nah, we'll just come back. All right, y'all, we back. Trying to hurt so we can catch the sun. That was a bust. They were not take it. Um, they were not take no cash. All right, y'all, we are headed. Ooh, girl. Oh, shit, was funny. Let's go over here and see what we can see. Those flowers. This is one thing I have to be careful about, and that is they snacks. This except it said anxiety. Uh uh, baby. This is kind of cute. I think I call love on it. These are my favorite. That's cute. This is it too. You like this kind of like the target. Wow, a jump. It's on 25. I was on my way out the door and spotted this. Girl, who is this a dupe for? Because Steve Madden is the king of dupers. Who is that? Everything that melted in the car. My coffee, I had to make me some protein shake that melted. I ain't had a chance to put the protein in. Let me take it home now. Oh, that's bitter. Um, y'all, I really, I, I'm just not excited about clothes. Y'all, let me know in the comments. It's like. Everything, y'all gotta turn some air on. It's hot. It's like, girl, my thing's at 81. I know it ain't 81. It's probably because, let me turn it down in this car. But it's like, everything has been done before, but they try to make it like it had. And like, I saw some cute jeans, but they was just like, I wanna take this shirt off, girl. But they was just like, I think that's what we gonna do. They was just like wide bottom, regular wide bottom jeans. Now the material, because this is a certain material I like in my jeans, especially if I'm gonna get stretchy jeans, I don't like this cheap stretchy. I like that thick express. I don't know if y'all have ever got a pair of express jeans. Express jeans at one time for me, was the best. I used to love express jeans. 
because of how they were. Like they stretch, but they not that cheap, cheap stretch. They would be like, like that good, thick, oh, good, thick stretch. And I would love, 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 love those jeans. So, I really didn't see anything. I saw, and then my thing is, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. What is going on? Oh, I see, I see the, I see his phone. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Hey, my thing is, what's going on with, uh, what is going on with this, this stuff they not marking down? Like, they had some cute, uh, couple of cute two-piece sets. But the thing of it is, I don't want to go this way. But the thing of it is, y'all, is that they thick. Girl, they so thick. They like a, they not like a spring two-piece set. Well, maybe, you know what? Maybe in, let me tell y'all this way. Maybe in the upper northern parts, you could get away with that right now. Like Chicago, New York. Those probably be the perfect spring sets. But like here in Tennessee, like you gonna burn up. You you gonna you gonna burn up. That's like women. You gonna burn up. You need some thin two piece sets. And I didn't see any. I did not see any. So and that makes me not excited for you know, retail, and I'm telling you nothing too. That's why so many people I feel like are doing fast fashion because you go in these regular retail stores, even though Moss is, in, is really not expensive, you want to know the truth. Because, like, the sets I seen, they was like $25 or I didn't, $30. You know, they wasn't like a hundred, I guess it's, you know the brand but they want like a hundred and some dollars they want all like that they was pretty reasonable but the thing of it is like it was some knit sets and the knit was so thick baby you're gonna burn up i just gotta tell you gonna burn and up so i don't know i didn't see nothing that was just like oh my god this that's just so wonderful the only thing i seen was a cup like this i think i showed y'all that was 13 dollars and that's when I got this one. It was thirteen dollars, and it had a handle. And that's what I'm looking for. I was looking for one with a handle. But I'm really on this thing where I don't want to buy right now so much what I want, but what I need to eliminate a lot of stuff out of my life and to bring stuff into my life. One of the things you have to learn to do, and I have learned, is especially when you are a thrifter or you a bargain hunter or you thrifty at what you do bargain shopper you will go places and you will see a lot of stuff that it's a good price and you'll be like oh 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 but at that point in time you might not need it now i'm not saying like stuff like uh oh, washing powder bleach or stuff like that i'm saying about stuff like clothes um like that cup like that's that's nothing i need that's something i want because i want one with a handle but because it's not a full-fledged need right now, because I do have one, I don't have to buy it. And then when I do get to the point to buy it, you know what I'm saying? If I have to buy it at regular price, which I seriously doubt, I'll just buy it at regular price. Even though it was 13 it, the regular price of them was $16.99, and the markdown price is $13.99. So you're saving like $3. So because it's not a need right now, like, with my husband if my husband uh you know wants to get it and, and uh misplace it or misplace the leads like he often do with some of my cups then i will come then i have a need for it and then i will come because i keep that cup with me all the time and i probably to be honest with you i probably don't wash it as much as i need to simply because the ice will stay in it and so if the ice is in it <laughs> Girl, I just add, keep adding a drink to it, which probably ain't good. 
you know, I drank that drink up. The ice gone, child. I add more ice. I think I might wash this thing uh, every three, four days. And that's probably not. Because I keep it by my bed. So the water stay in it and stay cold. Uh, and I'm not, you know, against, you know, standing cups or anything like that. But I'll take a dupe. I take a dupe. If I can get a, a dupe for thirteen nine nine or sixteen nine nine, that pretty much keep my eyes. It might not stay two three days, but I can get it to say one day, or like it's been in the car all day. The ice still in there and it's cold. The ice still in there and it's cold. I can deal with that. So that's all we gonna do today, guys. I went in Ollie's and made a, a YouTube short. I'm gonna make a short out of this. Uh, Marshalls because everybody might not want to watch the full video and then um that's it I'm finna go home I haven't eaten all day in this 1251 I'm finna to go home and see what I'm gonna eat and um put my drinks back in the freezer so they will get cold drink up this water I think I'm going to stop at the gym and ride the bike for about 15, 20 minutes. And then I'm going to take it on in. Uh, I might see y'all at the gym. If I don't see y'all at the gym, then I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Remember to be the, I'm saying this just in case I don't see you. Remember to be the solution to somebody's problem and not the problem, baby, because you was born and created to be the solution. And I feel like more and more that we begin to see ourselves as a solution. We'll stop seeing ourselves as the problem, as the victim. As, I'm going to tell you something. Read 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. In 1 Corinthians 2 and 9, it tells us, it says, Ears haven't heard, nor have I seen, nor have it entered into the hearts of man what God has in store for you. Because if you love God, then God got something in store for you, baby, that ain't nobody ever seen before. He ain't released it to nobody but the Holy Ghost that's inside of you to reveal it to you. So in and everything that somebody try to tell you you are, you are not that. I don't care what the circumstances seem. I don't care what you got involved in. I don't care what you connected up with. Once you ask God to forgive you, God releases you of that, and that is not you. And the real you is still embedded inside of you that you haven't even touched the surface of yet. And then when you get to reading that, go on over to Jeremiah 29 and 11. And Jeremiah 29 and 11, God said, I know the plans that I have for you. I know the plans. So, we can write down our plans, and, and I ain't saying nothing wrong with that, because, you know, the, the, the Bible said in Habakkuk, what is the Habakkuk 2, said, write the vision down, make it plain, so it won't tear, and it'll show itself in the end. I know that, and I know that's why people make vision boards. I know all of that. But even in doing all of that, is your plan, if your plan is not connected up or tied into God's plan, then, baby, you want to be, you are in the uh, permissive wheel. And if things are hard and grungy and pulling and feel like, girl, your back on this and your leg on that because you struggling to find the walk that God has prepared for you, that's because you are in permissive wheel. So take your permissive wheel, but <laughs> go over there and get on your knees. Ask the Holy Ghost reveal unto you the plans that God has for you. And then it might be just a nit bit, might be just a tip bit, might be just a sliver of something. Take that sliver of something and do that. And then as you do that, then maybe God will reveal a little bit more. I'm talking because I'm in a situation now where I'm asking God daily, God, because I feel like that we are to relocate. And I'm trying to make sure that that's not me feeling that way because sometimes, y'all, we can get to feeling some kind of ways that we ain't supposed to be feeling. So I'm trying to make sure that that's not me feeling that way, but that's God tugging at me because sometimes when God tug at me, it's a it's a difference. And so I really feel like God is tugging at us to move, and I'll let you know eventually where I feel like he's tugging at us to move to. But I got to know that that's the plan that God has. Not my permissive will, 
but the will of God that he has for my life so I can be in God's perfect will. So you don't want to be in God's permissive will. You want to be in God's perfect will because in God's perfect will, that's where he is. In God's perfect will, that's where your, your finance is. That's where your healing is. That's where your deliverance is. That's where your, your, your joy, because the joy of the Lord is our strength. That's where your joy is. That's where your overabundance of life is. You know, in John 10 and 10, God said the enemy came to steal, kill, and destroy. And we talked about that in one of our classes. When you really break that down and really understand that the enemy came with full pursuit with full intense, with intense desire, with rage and fire to kill, steal, or destroy you, your children, your children, or whatever's connected to you. That's his whole plan and purpose. But God said that he came to give us life and to give us life what more abundantly. So we should be walking in the throes and the abundance of God. And if not, we got to go back to God and find out why not. We got to go back to God and lay on our face. We got to go back to God and say, God, correct some things that I've done wrong. Even if you have to go back, baby, and repent for some of your generational, some of your father stuff, some of your father, father, father stuff, then that's what we have to do so we can get an alignment and get it right with God so we can see the fullness of God. We can see the joy of God. We can see the peace of God. We can see the love of God. We can see the strength of God in our life. So if that's something that you are kind of dealing with, then hey, hang on in there with me, girl, and we'll get through it together. All right, bye. Into crowd, be like 20 25 minutes on the bike. Now, fix me something to eat. All right, y'all. So, I will see y'all in the next video. Be the solution.